Other news now. There's a new push underway to save the Dresser Rand plant in Wellsville. Earlier this year, its parent company announced that it is moving operations at that plant to Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, Representative Tom Reed is pushing Congress to approve a proposal that would make it more difficult for plants like these to move away. News 4's Chris Horvatitz has details from Allegheny County. The question remains whether this is something that can save Dresser Rand or just delay its departure from Wellsville. Amid today's Memorial Day festivities, Dresser Rand was the elephant on Main Street. My dad used to work there and stuff, so it does concern me. Most people in attendance at the Wellsville Memorial Day Parade can say the Dresser Rand closure matters to them. About 250 people here will be affected. Parent company Siemens announced the sale of the plant's portfolio to Curtis Wright, which plans to move it to Charlotte by 2020. And it's not just about the jobs. We have some serious national security concerns there. That's the basis of Congressman Tom Reed's plan to save the plant. He laid out his strategy for me. Reed convinced fellow Congress people to include his amendment in that chamber's defense bill, which is due to be approved later this year. Here's what the amendment says. If we're going to relocate uh, these steam turbine operations, uh, that the uh, Secretary of um, uh, Defense and others have to conclude that there's no national security implications as a result of that relocation. I truly do believe there will be. Things are not cloudy in Wellsville. This is something we need to deal with. We will. Wellsville Mayor Randy Shaler says Reed's proposal is reason for hope. Certainly it does. And it's, you know, at this point, it's still confusing to everyone. So it's, it's difficult to say how much hope we do have or don't have. Hoping it can pass. Now, the U.S. Senate would also have to include Reed's amendment in its defense bill. So I reached out to representatives from Senators Kirsten Gillibrand and Chuck Schumer today. Nobody there could give me an update on that chamber's plans today. Reporting from Wellsville, Chris Harvat, it's News 4.